Welcome to Jersey Line. Pat O'Melia here, the pro football pronunciator. I went nine and six last week. I uh, got lucky that um, Baltimore-Dallas game popped up on the schedule. Um, I picked Baltimore. I got that one right, so I managed to go nine and six for the week. Uh, didn't do too well with the Fanduels. Got hurt with a half point here, two point there. But overall for the week, nine and six. So I'm working my way back up. Um, I'm making a big step between wins and losses here. And I think I got like five ties for the year. So hopefully we do better this week. Hey, we're getting used to having like football every day. Yeah, it's Thursday, yeah, Friday, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Pretty soon they'll start having Saturday games. All right, here we go. We got Thursday. You got the Pats, the Patriots, at the Rams. Patriots just obliterated uh, the Chargers last week. I didn't have that game picked correctly. Um, but Cam Newton uh, threw for about 96 yards. That's not going to work against the Rams at home. I'm taking the Rams, minus five. Four o'clock, uh, four o'clock game on Sunday. This is out of rotation, but that's how FanDuel had it up. We're using FanDuel point spreads here. Four o'clock game, Green Bay at Detroit. Detroit, you know, they got a whole new regime there. Yeah, they got rid of the GM, they got rid of uh, Matt Patricia. Um, you got Green Bay, minus seven and a half. I'm taking Green Bay, giving Detroit seven and a half points. One o'clock game on Sunday, Tennessee at Jaguars. Tennessee had a rough go last week. Uh, they, they were down by 30 points. They made it close, but still, I lost. They lost by six points, and we were giving six. Uh, I'm going to take them again this week against the Jaguars. I'm going to take Tennessee, minus seven and a half. Van Duel, 1 p.m., Dallas at Cincinnati. Cincinnati, well, as soon as they lost their quarterback for the year, Burroughs, they just went south. Dallas has the talent. They lost the Baltimore, but Baltimore was back at full strength pretty much. Dallas has the talent, and you got Dalton going back to Cincinnati. I'm going to play on Dalton going back to Cincinnati. I'm taking Dallas plus three and a half. Van Duel, one o'clock. My New York football giants, the Arizona Condors are coming in. The Giants are getting three points. I got the Giants who are on a four-game winning streak. The defense is playing well. I think uh, Jones is back. I'm going to take the Giants plus the three. One o'clock game. Texas at Bears. I don't care. Now, I could play quarterback for the Bears. Whether it's Trubisky or Foles, it doesn't matter. I'm taking Texas minus one and a half. One o'clock game on Sunday. Denver at Carolina. Denver keeps losing, but they make it interesting. They stay within the point spread, so I'm going to go with Denver, and Denver's getting three and a half points. One o'clock game, Minnesota at Tampa Bay. I'm sure this will be on TV. Um, Tampa Bay, you know, there's, there's a lot of strife between uh, Brady and Aries, uh, the coach. I'm going to go with Minnesota plus six and a half. I don't think they're going to stop Cook. One o'clock game, KC at Miami. Whether it's Fritz or Tuba, the, the offense seems to be playing the same way. But you got Mahomes. And Mahomes only knows one way to play, and that's all out. I'm going to take KC, minus seven. Four o'clock game, FanDuel, FanDuel. Indianapolis at Las Vegas. Las Vegas, uh, the Raiders are going the wrong way. Indianapolis, they're going the right way. And usually I'm not a big fan of Phillip Rivers, but I'm going to go with Phillip Rivers and the Colts, minus three against the Raiders. Four o'clock game, Seattle at the New York Football Jets. They are destined to go 0-16. I'm going to take Seattle, minus 13 and a half points. Four o'clock game, Atlanta at the Chargers. Uh, Chargers, I tell you, Lynn's not going to be there next year. They're going to have a new coach. They got a hell of a quarterback there. Atlanta can run up the numbers. I'm going to take Atlanta, minus two and a half. Four o'clock game, FanDuel, New Orleans at Eagles. Carson Wentz has been sacked. They're going to run with uh, Hurt. And it's going to hurt a lot there. New Orleans is going to crush Philadelphia. I'm taking, fan dual bet, I'm taking New Orleans minus seven. Four o'clock game, Washington at San Francisco. You know, Washington, yeah, they, they, they beat Pittsburgh, game I lost on with fan dual. I don't think they're going to beat San Francisco. Now, Fran, Frisco just lost to the Rams. Uh, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to take Frisco. I think their defense is that much better than uh, Washington. 
Frisco, minus three and a half. Eight o'clock game. Pittsburgh at Buffalo, probably the game of the week. Is Pittsburgh going to be upset about losing? They might be, but they have zero running game. Nothing. If they had any kind of running game, they would have won last week. I'm going to go with Buffalo. Josh Allen, this, this kid really turned it around. I'm going to take Buffalo, minus two and a half. Monday night, Baltimore at Cleveland, interdivision game. Baltimore looking pretty good, but so is Cleveland. But still, I'm going to take Baltimore, minus one and a half. Bet smart, bet with your head. Don't bet a lot of money. Bet like $20 a game. Bet with me, you would have won last week. You'd be good, you'd be safe. Let's have a good football weekend. Good night.